However, around 90% of MRI scans do give us a reliable report on exactly what we're dealing with. Essentially what that means is that following an elevated PSA or following an abnormality to the examination, a man is then assessed with an MRI scan. The MRI scan does not use uh, contemporary radiology, it's essentially a magnet, so there is no radiation exposure for us to get that image. They can be repeated multiple times if needed, but in essence, it's a simple test that takes around 30 to 40 minutes to do and gives us a really reliable picture of what's going on inside someone's prostate. Is there a spot of concern? How big or how small is someone's prostate? And on the basis of that MRI image, we can make a determinant. Do we think someone needs to take the next step for us to get a tissue sample of a particular abnormality? Or are we reassured that there does not appear to be anything within the prostate? Now, MRI scans are not 100%. They, there is a false negative rate, so they can be incorrect, if you like. However, around 90% of MRI scans do give us a reliable report on exactly what we're dealing with.